Happy Mother's Day with my father's shop. Okay. 
get dark or before Patsy mother come and see you making too much of noise now. Right. Let me play school of battery too. But my mother say that how? When you let people kiss you, you just get sick. Your mother too stupid, right? She just had it after fool you say won't let nobody kiss you. Well, me and one of boys kiss me neither. And I could kiss you yesterday. Not on my mouth. You know you stupid just like Patsy. Sharon Craig, boys, boys, Sharon Craig, boys, boys. to hold you down and, you know, the thing now, nah. what you to do? He is not your real father, it's look, just play with play. Hey girl, look now, nah. it's the same thing, what you to do? I would have guessed to not go and tell my mother. Really? And uh, what your mother would have do? What should I say when she find out? Find out what? That your father playing with you and kissing you up and interfering with you and you, you know thing now. Nah. My mother won't tell my father nothing. Why? You don't know my mother, nah? Anything happen, she just always want to blame me. She just never blame my father. So how she could blame you is not your fault. You don't know she, nah? Anything happen, she just always want to blame me. She just jump on me like if it's I who do something wrong. Like the time when daddy break the lamp, she come asking me, who break the lamp? Juliet, Juliet, come here. I show is you. I tell she, no, is daddy who break it? But she don't want to listen to me. She blaming me as if it's I who do something wrong. So if I go and tell my mother that daddy touched me up, she not going to believe me. She going to watch me as if I mad and say, what happened child, you're going off. You don't know she mouth. She would want to blame me for everything. My mother would. If I tell she that, she will get paranoid and want to go mad. What is paranoid? You never know nothing. Always oh, stop when he talks about some stupid question. But me, I know what paranoid is. Not paranoid, stupid. Paranoid. Whatever it name, I don't know what it means. So what? It means crazy, vex, all that. All it is gets on yet. If the girl don't understand, how you expect she to know? That is she business. Anyway, the talk now going sweet now. I don't know what I was saying. You was telling me what your mother to say. Right. My mother will get on so stupid, eh? I can't tell her stupid she'll get on. Play with me. Well, what to say? Play tell her, come on. All right. Mommy, um, Daddy? Go ahead now, tell me how. Well, I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't know what to say. If your father come out to touch you up, what you to do? What I to do? I go feel shame. Yes, but what you to do? I will go and tell my mother. What you going to tell your mother? I will tell she. I will wait until that day when daddy air home. And I will go and tell she that, that daddy come and interfering with me. Yes, but how are you going to tell she that? Mommy, I don't know now. I can't tell my mommy. So who are you going to tell? You see my English teacher, Miss Richards? I will go and tell she. And she will go and tell mommy because mommy will never believe nothing I say about daddy. All right, so you and Miss Richards, how are you going to tell your mother? Well, I will go and ask her mommy and say, mommy, Juliet say. How are you going to say that? Who is Miss Richards? You not you? Oh, well, I will go and knock on the door and say, good evening, Mrs. Ramsey. Good evening. I don't know if Juliet ever told you about me. I'm Miss Richards, Juliet's English teacher. I brought her home earlier today because the principal sent me. What happened? Something happened to Juliet? <coughs> well, yes. Oh God, Juliet, come. What happened? Why is she crying? Well, you see. Somebody hit her? No, Mrs. Ramsey. Juliet, somebody hit you? I tired, say. If anybody hit my child, eh? it could be me and then. Juliet, somebody hit you? If they feel because your father is a living dead eh? and the spirits are going to make noise. Mrs. Ramsey, nobody hits her. So then why is she crying? It is a more serious matter, Mrs. Ramsey. Can I come in? I would like to speak with you in private. What it is happened? Calm down, Mrs. Ramsey. Juliet has brought to my attention something very serious that has been happening to her. She 
has told me in confidence that she has been sexually molested. Sex? What? I, I don't understand. Juliet has been having sexual relations with... Juliet? What? But she's a little girl. It's only 10 years she has. She could be 11 quite next April. Mrs. Ramsey, you don't understand. This is not of her free will. She is being forced to have sex with... With who? With someone you know quite well. So I want you to be... Who are you talking about? Because this could be a very traumatic experience for him. Who are you talking about? Your husband, Mrs. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey. My husband? What happened to him? It is he who has been having relations with Juliet. What you say? Are you crazy? Yes, I'm afraid Who that... told you that? Juliet told you that? I'm afraid... So. Juliet, come here. What you think you tell this woman? <laughs> Miss Richard. Yes, what you tell this woman? It's me and tell Juliet, me. what you think you tell this woman? Mrs. Ramsey. I say I don't want to hear you. Juliet, what takes you to make you say something like this? You hear what the woman say? You hear what she say? What takes you to make you say something like this? What your father do to you? He don't be nice to you? Yes. So why you tell this woman this lie about your father? The child is not lying. I say I don't want to hear you. You stupid enough to believe this wretch and bring she here? But Mrs. Ramsey. No, but Mrs. Ramsey. You's a big teacher here for this literate and she lies. Mrs. Ramsey, the point is... Miss, you know this child's father? No, Mrs. Ramsey. Well, I know this child's father. You hear that? I know this child's father. This child's father is my husband. You hear? My husband. And I know my husband. I know him better than any of you. He's not crazy. He's not a madman. He's not stupid. And he has a wife. Not to say he don't have a wife. He has a wife. So it's lie, she lied. Somebody do you something, eh? Some pissing, say a little boy. Or some of them teachers in his school. What? Who like to take advantage of a little friend, eh? You afraid to come and tell me that? So you make up this lie about your father? Come and tell her. Answer me. Why are you crying? <laughs> Why are you crying? Answer me! <laughs> Mrs. Ramsey, please! You and leave my house, yes? <laughs> Mrs. Ramsey, please, let me say one thing before I go. Look, I know how hard it is for you to believe something like this, but if I can furnish proof of what I am saying, of what Juliet is saying, will you be prepared to accept it? Madam, Miss, whatever your name is, you expect me to believe that my husband, the man I was married to for all these years, you expect me to believe that he did this nastiness with his own daughter? He's not a beast or some sort of... But if it is true, then your daughter could be in serious danger. This could have more serious consequences than you could possibly think. Look, I've seen it for the last time. I am not going to believe this. What's out the final is what take to my daughter to make she say something like this. Some devil spread, some kind of orb there. Eh? But if you want to help me get this devil spread out of my daughter, come Juliet, upstairs. I will deal with this matter in my own way. Upstairs, out! anything about me? And instead of blaming my father, she blaming me. If that happened to me, as soon as she find out, you're going to hear she. Why you do it? Why? Uh, eh, what's wrong with you? The same thing your grandmother always say is no good. Uh, I don't want to hear what kind of daughter I have. If you're taking your own father, what it left for you to do is unnan it. You unnan it, so. All this time, I'm looking at you as a decent girl, and I could imagine the amount of money you must be taking already. I don't know why I tell you for. You do not as if it's my fault. Why you do it? Why? I don't know. He forced you. Tell me! No. He hold you down, eh? No. Then why you do it? Why? I don't know. You don't know? That is what you can tell 
something like that, she going for daddy one time.
I don't care. I'm not doing nothing. Me ain't care how much time he do it. Suppose somebody find out if I'm a mother or my best friend. Not me, me ain't telling nobody nothing, yes? Yo, you stupid. I can pretend me I know what they're talking about. So besides, my father can never do me something like that. <laughs> if that happened to me, I tell him I'm not asking my father, I just run in, yes? This girl dotish, just pretend then. My father not like your father, so I don't have to worry. Yes, imagine. Just in case? Yes, in case. If it really happened to me? Yes, if, if it, it really happened. happened. If it really happened to me? <laughs> if it really happened to me, I go dead. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> it's the only thing I can't do it. <laughs> no! I don't care. I can't take it. It's the only thing to do. I don't care. I'm going to kill myself. No, the said sin. You can't kill yourself, girl. Listen. Why not, eh? Why not? Suppose somebody find out tonight, today. No, I don't care. I'm going to kill myself. No, girl. Live. You was not the first, and you ain't gonna be the last. Listen. Ain't it better I dead? Ain't it best I dead and done? Everybody could be laughing at me behind my back. I don't care, boy. I'm gonna kill myself. No, you have so much to live for. Ask God for forgiveness. Listen. Suppose I get pregnant. Suppose I make a child. It's my child. It's my father, child. My father is the father. My father is the grandfather. I don't care. I go kill myself. No. I knew of a girl who used to live right next to where my first husband mother lived in. She even had a baby from her father. And today, she is a successful businesswoman working for big money. Who I go tell? I know. I can't tell mommy. I know, I can't tell my mother what she go say, how she go feel. Is she stepchild? Is she grandchild? The father? Is she husband? The mother is not the child father. I don't care. I go kill myself. No! Who oh, I go tell my father? My father is my father. My father is my child father. My father is my man. I make a child. What will happen? I don't care. I go kill myself. No, that is all people think. Yeah? This is stupid talk about how the child will come out the form. Damn stupidness. Make the child forget that. Listen. What I go tell my friends? What I go tell my boyfriend? He go never trust me again. He go never. Want Maggie? Which man go want Maggie? Why do you? I don't care. I go kill myself. Oh God! Who oh, I go tell? I go kill myself. I don't care. Go and check your school teacher. Miss, Miss, my father does have sex with me. What? Speak up, child. What you saying? You will never learn to speak properly. What is the matter? My father does have sex with me. Your father vex with you? What is vex with you for? Speak up, child, and don't mumble in front of me. Go and tell your mother. She won't understand. Mommy. Mommy. Daddy. Oh, God. I don't know how to tell you this. Remember the time when you spend the weekend by Tanti Elsie? When you and Daddy did fall out? Look, you don't have homework to do. I don't want to hear about your father because I don't know where the hell he gone since morning. I don't know. Go, Go and tell your dad and talk us up. Morning, dear. You look so pretty this morning. When is the last time somebody tell you have very sexy lips? <laughs> Go and tell your father. He's not a beast. He's not a beast. He's not a beast.
without the slightest stress of remorse, the slightest care, you give in. Without the slightest, slightest sign, you were willing to jump into bed with the man who had brought you up, who had cared for you from your infancy, who had sent you to school, who had seen to it that you knew right from wrong. Without the slightest reason, you shamelessly cursed your father, your own father, the man who had given you life itself as it were. You caused him to commit this, this infamy, to now have to face the embarrassment of the entire community. My lord, my lord, objection, what is this? By your shameless and careless act, you have caused this fine man, your honor, this moral custodian of truth and morality War. to be degraded and defied in the eyes of the law-abiding public. You are not the victim, you are the victor, not the vanquished, the victorious. You are not the abused, you are the abuser, you are the willful perpetrator, not this harmless, unfortunate gentleman. My lord, my lord, objection, what is this? This is madness. Lord, I'm a stallion, check your politician. <laughs> I see that you're only 15 years old. Quite three years again before you can exercise your franchise, huh? Before you could vote. Don't worry, I shall pick up your case at the next possible opportunity. The matter shall be put on file and we'll contact you as soon as a more opportune moment occurs. Try something, girl! Try something! I tell you, girl, check your best friend. Get baptized. Change your religion. Ask for the halfway house. Put it in the mirror. Write it on the wall. Tell you, that is performance. Hey! Make a jail. Put it in a play. Kill your father. Blame the government. Make a jail. Blame your mother. Blame the government. It's a crime. Give up yourself, it's girl. It's a sin. Leave this country. Leave this life. Yes, leave it life. Sean, what happened? Nothing. Then why are you crying there? Nothing. Oh gosh, come. Come sit by daddy and tell him what the problem is, right? Come on. What's the matter? I can't remember. Can't remember? Can't remember what? The song. What song, honey? The song that was teaching in school. What song is that? She's so much for the teaching. All right, all right. Come, Daddy will help you to remember. Wipe out all those tears and sing the first line. All right, come on, sing it. In a fine castle, do you know my CCO? Which one is the prettiest? Do you know my CCO? Which one is the best? Do you know my CCO? Which one is the best? You see, I don't never know what come up to that. All right, don't worry. We will sing it together and you remember, right? <coughs> come on, let's sing it. In a fine castle, do you know my CCO? Which one is the prettiest? Do you know my CCO? Which one is the best? Do you know my CCO? Which one is the best? You see, I have never know what comes after. Which one is the best? Nothing comes after. You know why? No, because you're the best. Really, Daddy? Yes. Right, tomorrow I will sing a nice song for you, right? A nice song for me to remember? Yes, for you to remember. Right, come. Come next to Daddy. Tell him what you want to be when you grow up. When I grow? Yes, when you get big. When I come big? When I come big, Daddy, I want to be just like you. Like me? <laughs> yes! No, you have to tell me you don't. Tomorrow, no. No, no! All right, all right. Come, let's sing. The more we are together, to 
together, together. The more we are together, the merrier we shall be. Cause your friend is my friend, and my friend is your friend. The more we are together, the merrier we shall be. Oh God, that's so You like it? Yes! Right, go and sing it for your mother, right? Mommy, mommy, daddy, it's my real life song. You want to hear it? The more we are together, 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 the more we are together, the merrier we shall be. Cause your friend is my friend, and my friend is your friend. You are fine, you too. Oh, well, for me. You don't find you too young for me. I asked you first. Yes, but I ordered a new. Otherwise, who does we first, the teacher or the pupil? Oh, well, what do you want to know that for? They do know. They mustn't answer a question with a question. Who first, teacher or pupil? The teacher, but... The boss or the secretary? <laughs> the boss, but... Father or the daughter? The father, but I am not your daughter, so I am bound to listen to you. So why are you so shy? Who tell you I shy? Go answer a question, answer a question. To decide. I ask you first. That doesn't mean I have to answer you. Ladies first. So why are you so shy? Who say ladies first? So who does normally be first? The man or the woman? The man, so? The male or the female? The male, so? Okay, well, the boyfriend or the girlfriend? The boyfriend and I, not the girlfriend. <laughs> you have to make a decision. If not for your sake, for your daughter's sake. The daughter, doctor? Yes, for your daughter's sake. Either you make up with your daughter or you continue the state of impact of, of vexation. I don't know, doctor. I can't bring myself to do it. What you prefer? <laughs> that you destroy your family or you forgive and give yourself a chance to start again? I don't know. I really don't know. How I could love any of them, eh? Look at what they do to me. Look at my life, look at me. I would rather dead than have anything to do with them. Every morning, every day, every time I come out of this house, I'm afraid to face people. I'm afraid to watch them in their face. Shame to know that they're watching me, talking behind my back, laughing at me, making me look like a fool. Yes, you have. You still intimate how much years you have. Lady first. Ladies first? Yes, pupil, secretary, daughter, whichever you want. All right. I am 17. And I know you must be 40 or 41, so the matter to tell me now. You know that? How you know that? Don't worry now. But you don't want to tell me about your wife, though. I don't have a wife. You mean? You don't have a wife again. Same thing, like you're checking up on men's secrets. Yes. I was supposed to know what kind of man I'm going around with, especially if he's so old. Don't worry about this. <laughs> I'm telling you again, I'm not your girlfriend. But I want you to be my girlfriend. Uh. Well, I don't want to be a girlfriend. Gosh, man, but I thought you liked me. Yes, but I don't want to be a girlfriend. So, like your favorite boys or? <laughs> Stop asking me all these questions. You're not my father, you know? So, if I was your father, then you like me? I don't have a father! I know how painful it is for you, but your daughter needs you now. She have a father. Is she father she needs? Is she father she wants? Is not she father she wants? She deserves a second chance. Everybody needs a second chance. Give your daughter the chance that she needs. The hurt she feels inside can only be cured of love. Your love, the only type of love a mother can give. And what about me? What about what I need after what they do to me? You were thinking about me as if nothing can happen to me. So, you have a wife. Had a wife. Me and mine, you know. That make it more interesting. Interesting? <laughs> yes, more. You good, yes? But you don't want to tell me about your children, though. Who's our children? You cannot lie. Yes, I know. What about your daughter? I don't.
don't have a daughter. Yes! And she about my age? I don't have a daughter. Yes! She going to the same school as my friend. I don't have a daughter, you don't hear? What do you mean you don't have a father? And I know your father? I tell him again, I don't have a father. Stop asking me this. I don't have a father. All right, all right. Let me change the topic of conversation, okay? The experience that your daughter has gone through is a very traumatic one. You are in a position to help, to comfort her, to heal her scars. You need her just as much as she needs you. What's happened already happened. The past is the past. As hard as it might be, as bad as it might seem, even your husband deserves a second chance. Husband? I don't have a husband. The only way to solve a problem is to begin by admitting. Admitting that I'm wrong? Yes, admitting that you did it in the first place. I'm sorry. Now? I know how you're feeling. No, you don't know how I'm feeling. You never know how I'm feeling. Give me a chance to try. It's too late. Sean, Sean, I just want to talk to you. You don't have to answer me, okay? I just want to say I'm sorry for what happened. So, you know about the pharaohs, them? Eh? Pharaohs who? Pharaohs, ma, like from your Bible. <laughs> yes, with Moses and the Israelites. Yeah, girl, well, them pharaohs are like Egyptian um, kings now. Nah. And they used to marry their own sister. Marry? How they could do that? Well, they believed that they were the Sultan's children of the sun god, and them alone was pure. And the only way to remain pure? was to marry a known family. You have to stop lying. To stop lying to your wife. To stop lying to your daughter. To stop lying to yourself. It's too late. It was always too late. How I could ever look at you again, eh? How I could sit down in the morning at the same table with you like I used to. How I could rush to you when you come home from work. Go to bed in the same bed with you when the night comes. Ever love you, touch you, feel for you again. I don't want all that. I just want you to understand. Give yourself a chance to become a man again, to live again. Admit that it happened for whatever reason. It is a sickness, a disease, and like every disease, it can be cured. In Peru, that used to happen. What? Damn Indians, a long time. I can't remember the name. You know what? Whoever did you want? Them brother used to marry their sister like they was mad. And they used to have children? How do you mean? Them and your, uh, um, Inga was the name. You feel them was easy? I know. I know. I know how you're feeling. Well, not exactly, but I could imagine. I just want you to, to forgive me. No, no, not to forgive me. I just want you to, I know your best. You're well vexed, but I just want you to try to understand. I know you think that I don't understand, but try, try to understand. Ah, uh, so what happened? I'm not saying I want you to, to love me, to stop being angry. I'm not saying I want you to embrace me with open arms. What you want? You see, I know you will believe this, but believe me, I, I know what you're thinking, and I still like you. Yes, I like you, but I just want you to do one thing for me. Wait, wait, it's not what you think. Please, please, I just want you to, I don't want you to forgive me. But for my, not for my sake, you're right. Why well, should do anything for my sake? But for your sake, for your mother's sake. I don't know. What you mean you don't know? I don't know. It could never be the same again, never. Not with all the lies and the bitterness, the hurt and the pain, the lies and the deceit, the frustration and the mistrust, not with all that. True, it could never be the same again. Too much doubts, too much denials, too much tearing apart, too much fears. It can never be the same again. Too much embarrassment, too much worries, too much love lost, too much. Too much crying. Too much sin, too much of everything going wrong. And I still don't know why you do it. Why you do it? Why you do it? I don't know. I don't know either. It just happened. We really don't know. Nobody don't know. To come all this way for 
for nothing. All this pain for nothing. If not for nothing, I will never talk to my father again. Never want no man again. Never want no love again. Not mother, not father, not God, not, not man, not lawyer, not God, not friend, that nobody can ever make me love again. The farmer in the den, the farmer in the den. I know the cherry with the farmer in the den. And the farmer takes the wife, the farmer takes the wife. I know the cherry with the farmer takes the wife. And the wife takes the child, the wife takes the child. I know the cherry with the wife takes the child. Time to come home. Already, Ma? Yes. Your father reach and he brings something nice for you. Oh yeah, a good medallion reach. And you bring something nice for me. Um, I'll come over later. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I go in. My daddy like me. Bye. Bye. I tell you, girl, check your doctor. Tell your grandmother. Tell your school principal. Leave the country. It's a sin. Kill yourself, girl. Kill yourself. <laughs> Bye.